Jackie Seitz here with LearnToFiddle.com and another video for the lesson for you. Today we're going to learn how to set up the left hand. And so I want to talk about just a couple of important things to pay attention to. First thing, if you haven't watched the video on how to hold your violin using the shoulder rest with no hands, that's extremely important. And one thing to add to that video is if you feel like you're pushing your stomach forward or arching your back, if you stand right up against the wall like this, it'll help you realize if you're pushing forward, you just gotta keep your entire spine right against the wall while you're playing. Um, what we're gonna do first is we're going to set up the thumb and what you want to do with your thumb is you want to take the pad of your thumb and contact it right against the neck of the violin and I like to say that we like to have just a tiny bit of the thumb sticking up uh, you don't want to do this because if you do that you're going to be tempted to grab over the top so you want to make sure that you just have a tiny bit sticking up and then as you're playing you want to make sure that you have a little hole here and that you have a little space right in there. Um, we're going to take the joint that connects your finger to your hand, this joint right here, and we're going to make sure that that's nice and high on the other side. That's a lot of, um, a lot of people skip that step and they have their, their joint too low and it, and it makes you have an improper position for playing notes. And so you want to make sure that's nice and high on the violin. And so I've got that nice and high, not too low. And you notice this space that I have right here. It's kind of like I'm making a little circle with my hand. And then the next most important thing is your wrist position. When you're setting up your wrist, you want to make sure that you don't have any wrinkles. I can get wrinkles by doing this. See the wrinkles right there? Or by, if I do that, you can get wrinkles right in there. So you want to have your wrist totally straight as opposed to bending it this way or this way. And you also don't want to curve it in that way or that way. You'll feel that gets really tense if you do that. So you've got these two things going here. You've got your thumb about an inch off of the nut of the violin and then you've got your index finger pretty close to the nut here up nice and high and you're going to curve that finger around so that it makes kind of a box shape and this is really important ignore these fingers for now it's important that you have that box shape with your finger what you don't want to do is collapse this joint right here if that joint collapses you lose all the strength on your finger what you also do is you put your playing onto the pad of your finger. And when, you, when we're playing, we want to make sure that we're on the tip of the finger. So we're going to put the fingers on the tips, and we're going to press until the tips turn white. Now I'm pressing down just into the string. I'm not really grabbing with my thumb. So a good position is going to look something like this. We'll see if that will focus for you. Maybe it won't. Not today. There we go. Um, so when you're playing, another rule is that we don't want the palm of your hand ever to touch the neck or the back part of the violin. Reason being is you can play your beginning songs like that that are going to sound very good because you're going to be playing on the pads of your fingers. But if your hand is, you know, the palm of your hand is contacting the neck, if you want to play all the more advanced songs that use the notes up here, you can't play them because your hand hits the side of the violin. Also, if you want to do a good vibrato, you've got to keep that back. So it's very essential. And unless you just want to play Mary Had a Little Lamb and Hot Cross Buns the rest of your playing career, you've got to have that hand back. And so a good playing position is going to look something like this. And I like to just start out with two fingers. And, but make sure that you don't put the rest of your fingers underneath the violin. One other tip, as you get all your fingers down and you're learning to place them and lift them up, when you lift the fingers up, just lift them up just enough to come off of the contact with the string. Don't lift them straight up in the air because that's going to make your playing really slow. Because watch, I can hit all my fingers in a row. If I keep them close, they go pretty fast. But if I lift them up, I have, I have to go a lot slower. So remember, some of the key points are the thumb touches the neck of the violin and it doesn't go up on top of the violin. Your hand stays away from the neck of the violin. 
Make sure that you don't have any wrinkles here or here. Make sure you're not bending your hand funny. Fingers contact on the tip, and they need to be nice and square. So none of this collapsing joint thing. And then if your teacher has put tapes on, it's essential that your fingers hit exactly on the tapes. You can't count it if they're slightly off, because if you're slightly off, you're on a different note or a really out of tune note. And on the violin, that sounds really bad. For more video fiddle lessons, visit learnthefiddle.com.